Hi everyone, this is Blake Anderson and I'm a videographer in Toronto here. And in this video I'm going to cover IA Presenter, which is an app by the team of IA. And uh, this is a really great app that I'm going to review in this uh, video here. And I'm going to focus more on why you might want to use this presentation software, particularly for, you know, video presentations or, you know, for your own YouTube videos. I'm going to walk you through this app and explain to you the concept if you don't already know of Markdown. So I'm going to walk you through an overview of iPresenter and I'm going to cover some of the features of this app and walk you through how I used it to create some of the slides in this video. And then I'm going to wrap up with just my review of the, the software, explain to you areas where it can improve, areas where you might want to use a different kind of app, but also explain a lot of the benefits of using this uh, software. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe. Thanks and have a great day. So the great thing about IA Presenter is it allows you to use Markdown. And so what is Markdown? Markdown is basically a language that you can use to format your text. Uh, it was originally created by John Gruber and a lot of, I would say, developers, uh, writers uh, pref prefer this type of approach when writing particularly on the internet or just, you know, focusing more on the content of their writing because what Markdown allows you to do is it allows you to dif you use different symbols to um, mark uh, the text up. So let's say you want to do a header. There's um, a, a way to format your headers. You know, the notion is that by focusing more on the writing and the actual content, I think you're going to have better writing. You're going to get more focus likely with your writing. So that's why iPresenter is a great app because you can create certain scripts and focus more on the actual content of the presentation. And then after you're formatting your presentations. So I'm going to walk you through how I use Markdown in this app, how to use actual Markdown in the app and how to think about it in terms of uh, what you need to kind of understand in terms of formatting your presentations. So I'm here in iPresenter and when you download iPresenter, uh, you're allowed to, you know, download a 14-day trial. So and they also offer you a template in terms of explaining the program to you. And I'm just going to quickly walk you through a bit about the app. So on the left here is you have all your slides and then in the middle is your markdown text and as you see here you know one of these uh hashtag is, is um for the main title for that header one and then you know with four of these then that's uh, you know header four and so it goes down like that throughout each of the slides so that way you can create a hierarchy of all your slides and allows you to organize your i guess your thought right in terms of how you want to present uh, in terms of what is most important and just with different uh, sections of your presentation as you can also see here there's just text here but that actually doesn't show up on the presentation slide itself so when you're giving your slide and presenting it uh, you're able to then read off this uh, as a script but you're not going to see it on the slide uh, I'll go more into detail exactly all the different types of markdown that they use to format the slides, but I just want to give you an overview first. So as you can see here, when you create a new slide, you can just create a new slide. And what it's going to do is it's going to open up in a different tab. So that's kind of good is that you can have two slides open at the same time in, in different tabs. So let's say you don't really know much about markdown. Uh, you might just want to use this section here. So let's say here you want to do a header two. Let's say you just say, um, you know, test header, spelling error, test header. Just click on here and it would create, a, you know, a second header. As you can see here, there's different sections. There's the text on slide, there's the formatting of the slides, there's the code uh, and the tabs and our strike table. And, you know, I'm still learning about this program too. So, uh, you know, I guess forgive me if I don't know all the details, but the main section is the text section here on the right. You can also close it if you want. Then you have your visuals. This IA presenter allows you to add your own images and videos. And also if you scroll down here, uh, you can also you know, drag in your images here and videos here. And then the design is, you know, would likely be at the final stage of your presentation. And so, what that allows you to do is allows you to use all these different types of themes that they offer. So you're also able to format your slides um, through you know, the design here. And you're also able to drop a logo as well uh, into your slides.
If you also open up the settings, what allows it shows you is just, you know, do you want to have dark mode, your appearance, you can match the icon in terms of the, you know, either dark theme or light theme. Within the editor, you can change the typology, how big the typology is. Also, you know, change the spelling, grammar, and smart substitutions. Within the presentation, you can make it responsive. So for some reason, when I opened it, it was opening up here is, uh, I guess, I think because of my screen size on my other second screen, it opened in uh, this ratio. But I just made it fixed to this aspect ratio of 4 over 3, right? And you could do wide and you can also do mobile. And mobile would be neat if you, let's just say, wanted to create a quick video uh, short, you know, in terms of a YouTube short, you know, maybe on Instagram. You're able to uh, quickly create slides uh, in a mobile format. So that's kind of neat. I'm not going to go through all these things, but you can play around here. But um, I guess one of the things I want to show you is that in terms of you can create your own theme. So let's just say you like this theme here for a future. You could save it so you can create a theme and then just say, yeah, test. This is my test theme. And that way you can, uh, you know, save your template of your slides. You know, this is the section for Markdown and then just your subscription. So speaking of subscription, I'll show you what the pricing is for monthly, at least in Canada here, it's about roughly $5. Uh, if you want to get it yearly, it's $50. And if you want to purchase it outright, it's $100. And again, they give you a 14 day trial. I would say that's a fair price, you know, maybe they're going to up the price perhaps in the future. But um, for now, I would say that's a decent price. So I've explained to you kind of the overview of the app, right? So you have your text here, your visuals, and you have your design. You, mostly you're going to be focused on the text, obviously, when you're creating the slides. And so you can see here in a very simple way to create uh, these slides is using Markdown. And on the right here is what allows you to format your different slides. So you can bold the text. So let's say you wanted to bold the text to design. You know, I, I guess what we do is just you could click on here and just click that. You could use the shortcut um, keys here, but that's one way to um, bold your text, right? And I'm not going to walk you through everything in regards to Markdown. Um, I'll leave a link uh, in the description in terms of explaining Markdown. But yeah, that, that's the way that you can create your slides. So what I like about this is that, you know, maybe Keynote might allow you more uh, customization in terms of designing your slides. But if you want a very quick way to create slides using Markdown and focusing more on the content, then I would say iPresenter is a definite winner. What you can do is click on the image itself and you could center it. You could uh, order it. Uh, you can create a filter. Let's see here. I can lighten it. Darken it, make it grayscale, change the opacity. I can make it in the background. I can, you can play around with that, but that's a, a way that you can format the images, right? By just clicking on the image and it gives you all these different options. You can also add a, like a video, a YouTube video. So let's just click on that. So let's say um, maybe I wanted to add one of my videos, right? Let's say I wanted to add one of my videos, I can copy the paste the link. And that way I also I right there I have my video but again I you know I apologize if I'm not like going into the exact details I'm new to this app as well but um, just giving you kind of a sense of what this app's about and also experimenting I guess as I make this video but yeah let's just show you also once you've done the slides let's just say I was happy this is a very simple presentation of four slides right uh, right now I'm on the theme of Zurich let's say you want to make it Paris so what then it does is it allows you to affect all the slides globally and I guess that's a very quick way to uh, format and, and kind of give a different look to your slides. You have Tokyo, you have New York. New York, I kind of like New York. It's I like that bright yellow. You have Vancouver, of course, it's gray. You know, all the right. Uh, LA, very bright. Copenhagen, kind of a green pastel color, and uh, yeah, this one as well. So. And then you can go into each of the uh, themes and you can customize them even further. Say you want to make them dark. Say you want to change the text. I really like this alliance number two. Change all the headers and the titles. Let's say the body, I want it to be alliance number one. You can change the way the headers are presented. Let's say that, let's say, what does it mean date? I can put date at the top as a kind of a leading. Let's say you want your logo, your footer. You could drop your logo in. And again, you can make it for mobile. You have the ability here to add the different types of, um, like a different, you know, a slide that you'd want to kind of format it, like it's kind of a, a pre-template, right? Say I wanted to just add this and add it to here. 
you click on this uh, here, it will give you a, a view of what the slides can look like, right? So once you finish all your slides, then what iPresenter allow you to do is create a cool way to present your, your slides. So let's just say that you had two screens. This is on the second screen. and This is the first screen. So you'd have, if you're presenting to others, you would have your presentations that they would see. And then on this slide, you would have your uh, text that you can read out, right? And let me just open this up. And on here, it has a countdown clock of how long you're presenting for, which is nice. And you, the way you go into that is you just click this, this plus or this play button right here. So you have countdown clock, you have the number of slides, and you can click through them like that. You can also just use your cursor left and right. Um, let's just say that um, here you wanted to have some of your script here. So let's just say uh, I presenter is a great app. So yeah, then, you know, when you're going to present, then you go into here as you're, you're playing your slides, right? And then it's not going to show up here, you know, with the text, but this is going to be your script, right? You know, the, the, the audience is only going to see obviously the, uh, you know, the, the text here, but you're going to be able to create your own um, script here in text and plain text. And again, I'm going to open this up just to show you a little more. Uh, you have, what is the content? And let's see here. You can also, yeah, I guess, see the slide on the left here and then also have your notes here. That's kind of neat. So that way you can know sort of what other people are seeing and then have your script here. Or if you just wanted to see the text with a smaller, then you could just uh, you click on that, right? So that is when you want to present your slides. You know, I would suggest to you, if, if you know how to use Markdown, then, you know, you're going to, you know, format your script or your presentation. I would say you'd probably be doing your research and you would be gathering all your data. And then as you format that, you know, that's, you know, you're going to focus just on the, the content, right? And then what you can simply do is just paste that content into this slide uh, window here. And then maybe you want to refine it a little bit, how it looks. You might want to change, add some visuals then. And you want to maybe change the design of the theme. Uh, but yeah, and then, then you finally want to present it. So that's kind of the workflow that I think a lot of people will like about this app is that it allows you to, you know, kind of get out of your way in terms of focusing too much on the presentation or on the bells and whistles, but rather focus more on the content. I like iPresenter. I, I guess I've saw, I've seen some, uh, you know, David Sparks, who is a big guy in the Mac community. You know, I guess his, some of his comments were that, um, you know, it's a bit finicky in terms of just how you can format some of the images, but I think it's it's really a very much a minimalist app. So I don't think it's, you know, meant to replace Keynote necessarily. I think if you want to add a little more finesse and a little bit more uh, design elements to your slides, then I would, yeah, get you to consider probably Keynote, uh, maybe in PowerPoint. Uh, there's obviously other slide uh, programs out there, but let's just say that you want to be very consistent in your presentations and make them very quick, uh, then I would, yeah, this is a great app for that. Uh, but just as I showed you, like formatting the image here. So let's just say you wanted to add this image to a slide. You know, you can do it like this way. You can align it and all those, those things. But, you know, at least with Keynote, you're able to drag and drop and move it, you know, slides around a lot easier. But uh, again, I don't think it was necessarily built to be, you know, super customizable that way. But just something to note, you know, if you're going to be purchasing this presentation software, you know, it's great that they have themes. I, I would hope in the future they have more. Yeah, I guess you can, you could design your own theme as well. So let's just say that you wanted this to be a, a very pink color. Then you can just, for future, save it, go into settings, go into themes, and then just save this as a theme. That way you can, yeah, have it for future as a theme, right? Yeah, that's, that's kind of the general overview of the IA presenter by the folks at IA. Uh, they really make, I would say, great apps. They have the IA Writer, which I've used for a number of years. It's very popular in terms of a very minimalist uh, markdown uh, application writing program. And this is a, a second step that they've done with creating now a presentation software. I, I just like the folks there, their, their design focus. They're more minimalist focus as well. 
And you can tell that a lot of, I would say, passion and I imagine love went into this program, just in the sense that uh, you can, you know, see that they've thought about all the different details and really focus, I think, on, you know, the person that wants to present in a very uh, succinct way. I just like their, um, the way that they've thought about how to create slides. Um, often, you know, I think a lot of people can get distracted when creating slides uh, using PowerPoint. You know, you're using Microsoft with what, like over you know, a thousand different ways to format your text, your images. And I, I imagine a lot of people get, can kind of get focused too much on the way it looks versus on the actual content. And at the end of the day, you know, when you're presenting to your audience, uh, I think when you're really going to have more meat on own when it when it comes to having impact if you, if you focus more on the content versus on just how it looks right so that's why i think this is a great app i'm gonna likely be adding it to my workflow in terms of when i create content uh, on youtube so yeah that was a general overview of iPresenter. presenter if you like this video please like and subscribe thanks and have a great day